Hey there everybody and welcome back to the channel. You're watching A Ritter Bit Will Do and you might recognize this guy. Tell Hi. everyone who you are and what you're doing. Hey guys, do. I'm Justin Finky with Finky Firewood Service. There, Finky Mike? Firewood. Yeah, this is my buddy Justin. We've had him on the channel a few times now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Times uh, we, were, we were out at your place. We watched your daughter do some archery that one time. Uh, yeah. And then you were cleaning up after the big storm that after we had last summer. Storm, yep. So the big storm, as you can see behind us, Let's see if we get the frame right. There we go. Progress has started, okay? I actually showed up here yesterday when they were putting the first rafter up on the old farmstead here. But Justin and I are here because you've got an ASV. Yep, yes And I do. Tell, tell them what we're gonna do today. So I got the, I brought my ASV and grapple and we have a big pile of brush over there that we're gonna start on fire and start getting rid of it and clean up the yard. We're gonna have a big old bonfire and I forgot the marshmallows. You told me you are bringing hey, the marshmallows. Nabbit, I forgot, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Hopefully we find some marshmallows. Stay tuned guys, this is gonna be a fun one. So the plan is to burn everything that we have over here. Uh, just to give you an idea where we're at, we're behind the house right now. The, the road that we were at earlier is, is beyond the house, that direction. Um, so right here, this is an open field. We're gonna get about four different piles going on over here. This is the thickest field grass that I've ever had to flail. Um, so we're gonna just put piles right in the middle of this little crop circle. We're gonna get some fire going. So I'll set you guys up and you can watch it happen. We couldn't ask for a better day to do this. It's going to be a high of 75, a light little wind out of the out of the west, maybe southwest, and the smoke is blowing just the right way, right into Justin's face over there, and uh, it won't bother those guys working on the house fixing the roof. So this is just ideal. What do you think? She's going to take off. We're going to have some hot fires over here. Huh? I think it's going to be. Uh, it's some, I think it's going to be a warm one. Those dry pine needles are going to go fast. Just what we want. So we'll do a little test fire here and see how it goes with the winds and yeah, see what happens. See how dry it is, yeah. how quick it's going to go. Then we'll start touching that one, and then we'll build a couple more. We'll get her going. We'll start feeding the fire. Keep feeding the fire. Yeah. The reason I wanted Justin on this job because he has an ASV. He knows how to use it, and he can do this job. Probably, I was, I was thinking three times faster than I could, and now I'm thinking probably six or nine or ten times faster yeah, than I yeah, probably have, could. Look at that pile already. Yeah. Oh we're my goodness. A good job yeah, we'll already. go check out the big dent he put in the pile already. It's it's amazing. Well. So you've got you got this pile already full. That pile is pretty much full, and uh, we'll just keep feeding them. And I figure I'll be the guy that just takes care of the little stuff. The little stuff. The little stuff. That's all right. That's all right. With your little toy, little, with your little Kubota. Toy. I heard toy. Did you hear him call toy? All right. And my little. It's a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> Swiss, Swiss Army knife. <laughs> the only thing I do wish I I could figure out on mine is is like your your artillery or whatever your uh, for your chainsaws. Your oh, the ch the artillery chainsaw holder. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty nice, isn't yeah, it? I gotta yeah, I got to figure something out on my ears. Yeah, you do need that. a chainsaw holder. With that forest three thinning. Yeah, you know, hear thing. that, Artillion guys? ASV guys need a chainsaw holder type of thing. Yep. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. All right, it's like snowing. Look at the ash coming our way. Um, I want to check out your grapple a little bit. We're going to do that later, though, okay? Because okay. uh, no because there's a connection with another YouTube channel, believe it or not. You're going to find it kind of interesting, so yeah. stay tuned. Time to do a little chainsaw work. We gotta cut this thing up here so Justin can get it over to the burn pile. All right, nothing to it but to do it. Let's go. It's all coming together guys. We got some fires going. The builders got those rafters up. up I shouldn't say rafters because you guys like to correct me. They've got the trusses up on the house and they're getting them leveled and measured right and then I don't know if they'll start sheeting it or not. And my buddy Justin is 
a lifesaver. He is uh, really doing a good job moving a lot of brush at one time. I mean, if you look right now, he has got his grapple as full as can be. And uh, for me, that would probably take me three or four trips just to use, get what he's got there with one scoop. Now he's noticing the wind is blowing towards those guys over there. Right, the wind has kind of changed. It's kind of swirling around. So hopefully, hopefully it corrects itself and starts going the other way. Because right now we, we want it to. We, we want the builders to build and not get smoked out. Justin, he knows what he's doing on that ASV. Go watch him work. Well guys, check out the dent that Justin made in this pile. We're probably almost halfway through, would you say? Yeah, pretty close yeah, to it. About halfway done as far as uh, gathering all the brush. There's still, there's a lot over there yet, but as far as this pile goes, about halfway through. Yeah. But we had to stop, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yeah, we had a little <laughs> boo-boo. All right, let's go show you why. <laughs> so here we are, ASV. The hood, is this a hood? It's in the back. The yep, hood is up. The hood. The, the, hood, up. the hood is up. The hood is up. That's never a good sign. Never good. You want to talk never about good. the black cloud that keeps following you first <laughs> before we get into this? Because <laughs> this is not the first time you've had something break. Oh no. And no, it won't be the last. No, I call it the black cloud because yeah. if it's going to happen, it will happen to me. <laughs> so if, it, if the odd ball thing is going to break, I'm going to break it. And today is one of those deals. Yeah, so Justin was moving the pile that was actually, the pile was on fire. We were having an issue with the smoke blowing towards the house, and you can still see the wind shifted. Um, uh, things just started not to go our way, and then they really decided not to go our not way because our way. you were moving the pile that was on fire, and then we had some smoke coming from the engine compartment here, and then we were really worried uh, yeah. because I thought, you had fire under the I hood. actually under thought the I hood. was on fire too. I didn't really realize looking over yeah. my shoulder because I'm pushing smoke, so it's not that big of a deal. But I backed yeah. up and I looked at your face. I was standing me. to the side like, hey, there's something wrong. <laughs> Something, something's not right here. I don't know. So we backed uh, it out and it's, it was yeah. just steam, thank God. Yeah, thankfully, um, got a hole in the radiator feed line into the water pump, I think. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know what you yeah. would call it technically. Uh, but technically, I'm not sure either. Put your finger on it and we'll see if we can get so, you a picture. I don't know if you can see that little hole in the pipe right yeah, there. See that pipe, that short little pipe that goes into the engine block is starting to corrode. Um, and there's a weak spot in there and it just it busted a hole. And the plan is JB Weld. Yep, for now. For a temporary fix. So we get Crossing that. fingers. And uh, hopefully that'll work enough so I can get this machine onto the trailer and get yeah. it home and then I'll rip it apart then. Yeah. It's always something with this guy. He breaks. It's he breaks fall stuff. time, it's crunch time. Yeah. And then this well, happens. Give, give us a rundown of some history things that you've broke in the past, like a real quick. And, oh, and a couple front ends of my truck. Yeah, uh, front ends of your Ford. This machine died on me this winter. Uh, I was stuck, yeah. stuck in it in 20 below weather for about 45 minutes trying to get out of the window without breaking the window. <laughs> uh oh, what was the issue there? It just quit yeah, on it's you? Just a, it's just cold, gelled up, and died. Oh, gelled up fuel. Yep, yep, gelled up fuel and died. That happens in Minnesota. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, trailer tires. I went through six trailer tires so far this year. <laughs> Usually, anytime I go from my country down towards yeah. town, yep. The trailer doesn't like coming to town either because oh. it's telling it blows a tire and, and no, you're not going. Yeah. But Ju Justin lives up in the sticks and you live off grid. I live off grid. Does. Yes, I do. So. Yep. He has a YouTube channel. It's called Finky Firewood. 
Um, you haven't posted anything too recently, but no, no, with with, uh, with Trinity being gone off the boot camp and yeah. stuff, it was kind of your videographer was gone. It, the computer girl. The computer. <laughs> I mean, I can run the camera, turn it on, and do what I got to do. But when it comes put it on that computer, that's her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're we're kind of shut down right now. The wind starts blowing up one direction, so we don't really want to feed the fire anyway. We, we're kind of hoping that it kind of cools off, and uh, we'll probably end up calling it a day more than anything. Yeah, and uh, maybe I'll fire up the artillery and grapple later and build some of these piles for next time. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyway, that's where we're at. Um, Unfortunately, bud. Yeah. I mean, that's what happens. The black cloud. <laughs> the black cloud. I got to get away from him. The black cloud it might I might start following me, and we don't need that to happen. So <laughs> don't worry about it. I take care of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys, I, I don't know if this is going to be the end of the video or not. So, uh, but if it is, if it is. You know how I close out my video. Oh, crime, it's been a long time. Keep, keep on keep, tractoring. Keep on tractoring. God bless. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we forgot to talk about that we're going to talk about right now is your grapple. So walk us through this thing. Tell us about it. Where'd you get it? And so how do you like it? I love this grapple. Uh, it's definitely, I had it built by a, a person that graduated a year ahead of us, okay. Darren King, uh, King Welding and Fabrication. He makes these units. I had to make one up. Uh, this was actually originally built for my firewood. The bigger slots are in it. This is for what I make when I grab and I can shake the dirt out. Oh, sure. Yeah, kind of that was the, the dirt. Get the yeah, dirt off. Yeah, try to get the dirt out. Yeah, so Darren Kane is the guy that has the business and it's called Kane Welding. Yep. Okay, and if that sounds familiar to you, that's because you've watched Hank Hamilton and you've seen his brush hog on front of his tractor made by the same guy that Justin knows really well who went to our high school in Minnesota Hank Hamilton's down in Florida isn't that a really weird connection when I yeah. saw Hank show that his his uh, brush hog thing for the first time and it said marble Minnesota I'm like these are my old stomping ground <laughs> yeah. today we're going to put the front mounted brush cutter from King Weldon and Sons a little bit about this front mounted brush cutter from King Weldon and Fab they're out of Minnesota there's their phone let me see if I put their phone number on here 218-256-9418. The weirdest yeah. thing for me. He's actually but, in yeah. the building of the old Misaba Oil. They're on Main Street. Right. Right there. He bought that building and that's where he's got a shop. He's got a nice little little business. In the, and he's priced right, price isn't he? Unbelievable. We don't need to talk about prices I mean, for him because he may have changed them. But yes. as far as comparison to other products. Oh, a third I mean, of the cost. Yeah, a third to half to <laughs> a third. Yeah, yeah. half to a yeah. third of the cost. So, and let me tell you. I can break anything. I have not broke this yet. This is one <laughs> item I have broke. Fittings? Yes. And that's my own doing over stretching and everything, but everything on here, I haven't broke. Uh, this is really heavy. So he actually, I had him put extra bracing on here, but other than that, I have had not had an issue. It's held yet. up well. No. Well, during the time that the ASV was running, it was doing a phenomenal job. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely the tool to have. So. Uh, King Welding, you can check them out. I'll put a link in the description to maybe their Facebook page or something, and you can then you can get started yep, from he's there. Got Facebook, and, yeah. and I don't know if he does yeah. the YouTube thing anymore or not. Uh, he not does sure. videos either, so. Yeah, maybe I'll even put the phone number in the description, <laughs> then you can call them and bug them. <laughs> yeah, uh, I tell you, I, I recommend, I highly recommend them because uh, you get paid through the cost, you get it better. He actually will custom build anything you want yep. to. Your machine. That's pretty awesome. So even John's little Tonka Toy Kubota over there. Tonka Toy. There he goes again, <laughs> calling it a toy. <laughs> he got, he'll, he'll build a brush cutter for that.